Hello and welcome to another wonderful video. Uh, watch out, Skella has a saw. Uh, anyway, uh, today uh, we are going to be talking about five things you probably didn't know that you could do in Ponytown. Uh, so uh, starting off with number one, uh, we're going to teach you how you can get out into the void. Uh, how, how, how you can get out into all this little black space out here. How, how can you get out into that? Well, believe it or not, there is indeed a way to get out into that void. Uh, to do this, all you're going to need is a saw like I have here. And you're going to take out a wall like so. So maybe take out this one too because I can't fit there. Uh, stand exactly where the wall was and place the wall inside of you. And if you've done everything correctly, you can walk out, step out, go straight up, and you're in the void. This is pretty much as far out as you can go. You cannot go up any higher than this. Uh, you can't really go out any f any like any distance really to the left or right or anything. The I'm not really sure why this is like this. I, I can only assume that maybe it has something to do with like the bookshelves and some of the furniture. Because uh, some of the furniture, uh, if you place it near the edge, part of half of it will go out, out into the void. Uh, I think maybe they had to like move the barrier back further just a tiny bit for that to work. I don't know why. Uh, may, that's the only that's the only theory I have for this. But you can do anything back here. You can lay down. Uh, you can hide behind the wall so that you're completely invisible. Maybe you make some kind of game out of this. Maybe it's like, oh, I bet you can't find me. Or maybe you invite some friends over to your Ponytown Island house party thing, uh, party house or whatever. Uh, and you beat them there, you load your house, and you're able to get out into the void before they can get into the house, and then they won't find you, and they're like, where are you? And then maybe you can say something like this. Maybe you can say, hey, uh, well, actually, yeah, there goes, <laughs> it's just a little, little hey right up there in the, at the top, and they're like, what? How, what is going on? Maybe, maybe you can confuse your friends, whatever else. Uh, the only thing about this is if you're out here in the uh, void, if you, if you remove the wall or do something to the wall that allows you to get out into the void, uh, you will teleport back inside the house. Um, yeah, there we go. I was like, it wasn't gonna work. That's a little neat little trick that you can do, uh, and yeah. Moving on to number two, you can remove and replace the Party Town Island uh, toolbox that's usually over here in the corner. So if you don't know, uh, if it's already gone, you can do slash restore toolbox and the toolbox will return. That's right, your toolbox is back. How is that possible? It's back because I use this restore toolbox command. You can also remove it again with slash remove toolbox and it will be removed. That's right, the toolbox is gone now. What are you going to do about it? So uh, that's something that you may or may not know. I have been in people's uh, Party Town Island Party House thing. I, I, I need a better name for this. I've been into people's uh, par Pony Town homes before uh, where they've had the toolbox and I've had to tell them like, hey, you know if you use slash remove toolbox it will be gone right and they're like what oh my god i didn't know that and then th then they would remove it and they'd be happy moving on to the next thing we're in the party town island house uh party house so uh let's just step outside and uh talk about some of the stuff outside so if you don't know, uh, there's flowers like this across the map, but this one's here year round. You can actually pick these up. You can actually pick them up. Just click it and you'll pick it up and you can carry it around. Uh, this is actually something that I didn't know until fairly recently uh, when I randomly ran into a, uh, po a pony that just had a flower in their mouth. I was like, where did you, where did you get that flower? Since one of their flowers, I thought it was part of the new update that they had recently where they added like the slash clint house command and stuff like that. I thought it was part of that. That that little update, but it wasn't. It was actually just part of the map. It was just something that's always been there that I didn't personally know about, which kind of makes me feel dumb, but it is what it is. Uh, you can pick up flowers now. Uh, I don't know why more people don't have flowers in their, in their mouths, but uh, I don't know. It's interesting to say the least. Uh, moving on, we have number four. Four, uh, which is if you go up to these mines up here and go right inside if you pick up one of these crystals and then go to a lantern box like so you can get yourself a a, a little crystal lantern that's right a, a little crystal lantern and uh, you can carry that around it actually gives off light as you can see if I go over to this dark space uh, yeah you can also get in the cards haha <laughs> bonus <laughs> if you go over into dark corners like this you can actually light up the area so these things actually work as light uh, it's very nice I've seen people use like blue OCs and stuff like that and mix them together to create some very very beautiful stuff uh, but yeah that's that's number four. You can actually get crystal lanterns, and uh, some people don't know how to, and uh, that's how you do it. You just go and you grab yourself a crystal, and then you go and grab yourself a lantern. They actually keep them next to each other for that. Moving on to number five, the final one here. Uh, you may you may notice that there's a pony here, and how how are they up there? I don't, I don't how do I can't get up there. I can't I can't walk through here. How did how did they get there? I don't I don't understand how how is it possible? How how are they up there? Let me in. Let me in. Uh, we, you may or may not know how to get up. here. 
here, uh, but essentially you have to be a Pegasus or have wings of some kind. You can fly over this fence, land here, and this is literally the only way to get in or out of this space. So if I switch back over to Skella, then I am trapped in here forever until I switch back to a Pegasus or Bat Pony or whatever uh, that will have wings and allow me to fly out of here. This is literally the only space on the map that only Pegasi or winged creatures can get to. Uh, I just find that very interesting because they used to have a space that only Pegasi and stuff like that could get to called the uh, the island. I called it personally Pegasus Island because you had to have wings to get there. Uh, but they added the swim mechanic and stuff like that. Uh, now now uh, winged creatures have their own space to them once again. Just a quick bonus one here for you all, just because I loved you so much. You cannot fly over the benches. For whatever reason, you cannot fly over benches, but you can fly over torches. Uh, you can also uh, fly over uh, pretty much anything except barrels, presents, and uh, <laughs> for some reason these. For some reason, benches and barrels you cannot fly over. I don't know why they have yet to, to change that, but you can fly over everything, including like a well, oh, I, I guess you can't fly over these either. I thought you could. You can't fly over that sort of thing. Um, there's actually a lot you can't fly over, which I find very interesting. But you can't fly over benches. You cannot fly over barrels. And you cannot fly over toy stash presents thing that you find on the map. You also cannot fly over these for some reason. These uh, leaf piles. For some reason, you cannot fly over leaf piles. Um, you can fly over pretty much everything else. Uh, except signs, uh, lanterns. Just to reiterate here, you cannot fly over anything that's in a box, anything, anything barrel, anything sign for some reason, uh, anything that's a leaf pile, anything that's a bench, anything that's a barrel. I think I mentioned that one already, but your barrel, toy stash, present box things. You cannot fly over any of that for whatever reason. I don't know why they never added it, uh, but you cannot fly over that stuff. And you can fly over pretty much anything else. Uh, but anyway, that's the bonus one there that I have for you guys here today. So, um... That's going to that's gonna conclude the video. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, share. Do those wonderful things. Because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. That's not all you get, though. That's not all you get. You also get to become wonderful. And I, th I, think, I think we all want that. Don't, don't, we, don't we all want that? Don't we all want to be wonderful? Well, do those wonderful things, and you'll become wonderful. Also, comment below if you knew any of these. And uh, comment below also if you have something that maybe not a lot of people know. Maybe I'll do a sequel to this in the future and include that idea. Uh, that little um, thing that a lot of people probably didn't know uh anyway that's gonna do it for the video like i said so again i uh, enjoy this outro here uh it's brand new well it's not brand new but it's it's like a few videos old now uh enjoy that